The liquid sewing accessory came in the mail today. Let's unbox it together. So backstory time. Last month I was quilting and I was complaining to my husband how my quilt layers weren't feeding nicely on the sewing machine I've been using the most lately, the Husqvarna 1070. I told him that some of my other sewing machines have a walking foot attachment, but this one didn't have one. He secretly ordered the attachment for me as a surprise, but he's terrible at keeping secrets. He spilled the beans yesterday that I was expecting a package. Now I'm ready to quilt on this sewing machine for my next project. This is an off-brand walking foot by Alpha Sew, compatible with select Husqvarna Viking sewing machines. On the bottom of your sewing machine, you'll see these little teeth called feed dogs. This is what grips the fabric and helps it move or feed your fabric underneath your sewing machine needle. For most purposes, these feed dogs get the job done, but if you're sewing many layers or thick fabric layers, the bottom layer may move better than the top layer, leading to puckering or shifting of fabric. Here's a closer look at the feed dogs without a walking foot attached. You can see that the standard foot is totally smooth on the bottom. There is no extra grippiness. A walking foot, which may also be called an even feed foot or a dual feed foot, has a set of teeth facing down into the fabric which helps grip the fabric to move it more evenly. The box included four items, two seam guides, the actual walking foot, and a thumb screw. The box didn't include any instructions, but it's very similar to other walking foot attachments that I've used on my Singer machines. On the back of the foot, there's a rubber slot where the optional seam guide can be inserted. There's a version that faces right and a version that faces left. Let's try to attach the foot to the machine now. I'm going to start by removing the standard foot from the machine. Removing the clip-on foot is not enough. We're going to need to unscrew the full foot attachment from the needle bar. Turn, 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 turn. Now let's get out the walking foot. We're going to line up the hole in the side and align the rubberized plastic grip around the needle bar. Simultaneously, we're going to line up the metal hook part with the needle clamp screw. Hmm, the hole does not appear to be lining up quite right, no matter how I shimmy this. Yeah, that's not fitting. After taking a closer look, it seems that there is an extra thumb screw on the back hole of the needle bar on my machine. I'm thinking it's maybe left over from a specialty attachment from a previous machine owner. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's remove the thumb screw and see if that corrects the situation. Yep, that was the issue. With the extra thumb screw out of the way, the walking foot is now lining up as expected. I use my hands to tighten the screw, turning right for most of it, and then I do a final tighten with a screwdriver. It's been my experience in the past that the thumb screw can loosen over a long sewing session if you don't do a secure tightening. Turn, 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 and we're good to go. You can see that the feed dogs of this machine are lining up with a new set of teeth on the walking foot. Let's try it out. Here's a look at this attachment in action. Let's slow it down. Let's try out the seam guides. If you want to evenly space out lines of stitching, you can place the guide at the desired distance. When you put your fabric under your foot, you can easily lift the guide to get the fabric under without shifting the guide. There are no measurement markings on the guide, so you'll need to measure the distance separately. These guides are perfect for a straight line quilting. I like that there's two variants, so you can sew a precise distance from either side of the needle. I've only ever had a guide that attached on the right in the past. Here are a few other walking foot attachments that I have in my collection. This one, which is definitely yellowed over the years, was the attachment that I purchased to go along with my very first sewing machine, a Kenmore from Sears. This next one, although it says Singer on the side, is a cheap $11 knockoff that I purchased on AliExpress in 2015. It features a right-hand guide option, unlike my first, which features no guide slot at all. 
I'm going to wrap up this video with a few more satisfying slow motion shots. Enjoy! Check out my channel Craftcore DIY and Sewing for more sewing content and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Craftcore signing off. See you next time.